moonshiners as they were called, needed a way to transport their illegal whiskey from the mountains to the customers in more populated towns and cities. One of the first to deliver a solution to the moonshiners problem was Raymond Parks. In his day, Raymond controlled most of the whiskey transportation in the Atlanta, Georgia area. Raymond's drivers were good, and his cars were fast. So fast, in fact, that he entered them into the early stock car races, and they won a lot. By the time he was 16, he had two t malls hauling liquor to Atlanta. He told me he's paying 90 cents a gallon here in Dawsonville and getting a dollar 20 in Atlanta. The money was too big of a reward. $200 Raymond brought home when he was 16 a week versus $20 working a job. By the time he was 18, he owned a service station and I always heard time he was 21, he was a millionaire. And the key to Raymond Park's success was being fast enough to stay ahead of the law. And some of these boys ran as many as three loads of whiskey a day out of this town. Sometimes you felt like it was a game. It was us against them. I knew they were going to make liquor and I knew I was gonna go spend the rest of the day trying to figure out where they were going to make liquor. And, and how to catch them. It was a lot more liquor being made than it was liquor being caught. I worked on the Moonshiners' cars, and uh, I kept them up, and I also worked on the alcohol and tax guys' cars, too. I never had one of the guys that the uh, cars we worked on to get caught. We put the engine and all in the alcohol and tax guys' cars, but they wasn't quite as good as the one that was what we put in the liquor cars, you know. Hey, Velocity fans, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to see more great videos.